why would you bring tourists all the way from Australia uh, to Zimbabwe? Why Zimbabwe? Easy, easy. I've been coming to Africa for 32 years. And in all the countries I've been into in Africa, this is my favourite. They're friendly, they're educated, they're intelligent. The nation is beautiful, look at this. And the variety of landscapes and the variety of cultural items you can look at is vast. Plus we have real wilderness here, real wilderness. You go to Wangi, Wangi National Park has no fences. Then there's the Forestry Commission, no fences. That area is the size of the country of Belgium with just wildlife and no people. That's why I come. Yeah. But the people, they're great. Yeah. And they can drink vodka like no one else on earth. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful brand new morning and I just want to say good morning to each and everyone watching me right now. I love and appreciate each and every single of you, yeah? Look around me. Where do you think I am? I'm actually in a replica of the great Zimbabwe ruins. I mean, if you watch my previous episode, I took you guys along with me when I went to explore the great Zimbabwe ruins, which was built and designed by our ancestors. I wanted to ask you that, where did they get the stones from? But <laughs> after coming in here, I think they got it from the rocks up here. Not up here only, look at the landscape. Oh! I was looking for a place that looks like the Great Zimbabwe to spend a night. Because when the guy was telling me the story, I was imagining how I wish I was there in those days. But I mean, I asked them, can I sleep there? They said no. And I'm like, is there anywhere with the same design that I could spend a night? They said, yeah, we got a lodge at Asian City which is just 800 meters away from the Great Zimbabwe ruins. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going there. And if I'm going there, I need to sleep there for a night. <laughs> I was here last night just to come and check out the lodge at Asian City. I think this was supposed to be called the Great Zimbabwe because after hearing the history of the Great Zimbabwe, this is the exact replica on how our ancestors used to live those days. So when you go to the Great Zimbabwe, it's actually built on granite outcrop. And this resort is also built on granite outcrop. I mean, I think it was inspired by the Great Zimbabwe ruins, but I don't know who built this, but I think this has mortar. Yeah, I think this has mortar, I don't know. I wish you guys can see what my naked eyes is seeing, because this beauty, it's unexplainable. This beauty, the camera cannot do justice to it. I just want to encourage more people to visit Zimbabwe because after coming in here, I feel like this country is on top. Look at that. Look at that huge granite. Whoa. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. Just have a look at that, yeah? And I think the person who really designed this is really genius, knowing that it gives you the exact feeling if you have ever been to the Great Zimbabwe. So I believe that after this video, some of you want to go experience the Great Zimbabwe. You want to go visit, you want to go check it out. And after checking it out, I think this will be the perfect place for you to stay. Oh my goodness, is that the... Look at that. Yo, 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 yo. I hope what I'm seeing is correct. Just, I don't know if this camera can go straight. Can you see the great enclosure? So that is a great Zimbabwe enclosure right opposite there. But yo, yo, it gives you the view of great Zimbabwe ruins right from here. That is amazing. Jeez, look at that, look at, look, look at the view. Look at the view. And I found myself in the woods, man. Woo! 
it's a blessing to be from Africa man I always tell Africans that it's time for you to explore your own continent go discover the hidden games in your countries listen it is it's just that Africans are not marketing Africa enough that is why Africans don't know that Africa is the place to be but I have taken upon myself together with so many youtubers we are on a journey to change the negative narrative about Africa we want to let you know that for you to go and spend your holidays in Europe for you to go spend your holidays in Asia for you to go spend your holidays in Dubai and the rest hold that money I know it's so expensive to travel within Africa I know it but don't forget that when you spend your money in Africa it boosts the economy of the continent it's also I mean help the people living on the continent whoa Ooh. look at the sunrise this is free vitamin K in Africa <laughs> whoa I got a feeling that today is gonna be a good day but today is gonna be a good good day welcome to Asian City Live First of all, I want to say it's a pleasure meeting you. You know, I was not expecting that warm reception yesterday. So I want to give a big shout out to Asian City Lodge. Mm -hmm. I, I was broke. So I was... <laughs> what am I that, broke? That, really? That, that, that moment, <laughs> that moment, there was no money coming from Ghana. Right. I was so broke. We spent, I think, a night in a hotel in uh, Mashingo. Um, I think I got three rooms. We paid over 200 and something dollars. Mm -hmm. So I was broke. So the second day, because we couldn't get a drone shot, right. I'm like, what am I going to do? I want us to get this drone shot. But I don't have money for hotel that night. So wow. I told everybody, let's go to any hotel here and just tell them that we want to promote them. And I, in an exchange of... Right. So <laughs> the first hotel that we <laughs> That's went That's very to, creative, no, you no, know. No, because I didn't have money, but I'm like... We have to make it happen. trading. We have to make it happen. We are not leaving Machingo. Until right. we get the drone shot of Great Zimbabwe. So we went there. <laughs> I went there. I, I met the uh, reception. So who are you? I said, my name is Watermai. I'm from Ghana. Um, I'm here to promote. I, I promote yeah. destinations. Can I promote your hotels? And I then, um, and then get... Uh, in return, in you return, know, yeah, provide so, us oh, accommodation. The marketing yes. team is not around. But I think the lodge manager is around. Yes. I was just there, and then the lodge manager appeared, and he said, "What am I?" I was like, ah, ah, it's, it's, it's going down. Like ah, Maya, watch your videos. How long have you been watching my videos? Yeah, I've been watching your videos. I think since 2020, when the during the start of the COVID, COVID. you know, so when everything there was nothing much to do, I was on YouTube. <laughs> Generally, so this, this guy is doing something good about Africa, trying to bring a new narrative to the to the, how people perceive Africa. And I've been a good follower for you. It was a pleasant surprise to see you at Lodge at the Ancient City. This is more like a replica of Great Zimbabwe. Yes, this is more of a replica of Great Zimbabwe, where if you go to the Great Zimbabwe monuments, this has been designed as a replica. You come here, you get your accommodation, luxury, enjoy Zimbabwe, enjoy Mashingo, and this is the place to be, especially when you have seen the, the Great Zimbabwe monuments. This is the place. It's uh, everything about is it. Is this a great enclosure? Yeah, this is like almost <laughs> a, a mini great enclosure at Lodge at the But Ancient inside City. a great enclosure, there lives only one queen. How many queens do you have in here? The queens. <laughs> <laughs> we have plenty. I'll show you. I'll show you the queens in the restaurant area and everything. There are a lot of queens that you would see. Plenty, plenty, okay. plenty. Okay. Uh, is there anything that you want to tell yes, us? Yes, you can come through. I want to show you uh, the designs, the, this architectural masterpiece. You're now entering the kingdom okay. of uh, the Great Zimbabwe, the replica. So you see everything about this lodge, the designs of the chalets and everything. They represent uh, the, the culture. They represent all the designs of, of the Great Zimbabwe. Which generation built this? This uh, was built by the fourth and fifth generation. And no, uh, it's only the people from around this place who are able to design this. It's difficult. This is pure granite. But come, I wanna, I wanna come closer. No, no, you just come closer because pure granite, yeah. Yeah, pure. But granite. I, I, I wanna, I wanna ask a question. But unless we get closer, Ghana is 
awesome. He even knows that I'm from Ghana. <laughs> hey! I'm your subscriber. I'm you know, your hey, subscriber. Hey, I, I watch all your videos. Oh, most of your videos, I watch them. And you are doing a great job. Thank you. And we really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Right. You know what? Since you are from Zimbabwe, we have a lot of Africans watching us. What will be your message for Africans? Uh, uh, Africa is good and uh, it's a beautiful continent. And uh, we are glad you are taking our name uh, to a greater height. And uh, keep it up, man. Thank you. Yes. Thank Africa you. is a great continent and we have great potential. This is one of uh, room number one, and uh, I'll tell you the previous uh, president, uh, Robert Mugabe, Mugabe. They, there was a conference in uh, 2017 mm -hmm. where he had his birthday in, in Mashingo. It was done here. This is where he stayed. He stayed actually in this room. We accommodated him. We have accommodated royalty here. Wow, <laughs> but this has mortar. Yes, this has more charcoal. Ah. It's not modern. <laughs> but what was done? But what was done at the uh, at the Great Zimbabwe? There was no mortar, and that uh, that was early civilization. How they did it? Huh? It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And this that was built by Africans. Africans, Zimbabweans, the Roji. That's amazing, man. How does that make you feel? It, it makes me proud to be Zimbabwean. I'm proud to be Zimbabwean. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be part of uh, running this facility and also to be part of the history of, of our great Zimbabwe. Because that's it's early civilization. We're talking about the 1400s and already we're being able to design. That's why you find Zimbabweans in any place in, in the world. They're, 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 they're making it. They're making it. We've been intelligent from, 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 from then on. And this, is, uh, this, is, this, this uh, proves it all. Yeah. Especially uh, having uh, structures like this without mortar. Now we need cement. Now but we're in the 20, 22nd century. <laughs> <laughs> so here, so he, so the, uh, the, 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 uh, the president, uh, the former president, Robert Ooh. Mugabe, this is the chalet he used to stay in. You see, it's totally enclosed, exactly like the Great Zimbabwe monuments. Wow. How and many rooms do you have in here? We have 19 chalets and they're all designed uh, in this way. Thatch, and uh, re replicating like uh, the, our hearts. That's why the uh, how we the Zimbabweans. If we go out we call Kumusha, mm. they live. This is this 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 is the structure. This is the structures that we live in wow. when we go to our rural areas and wow. stuff. So we want foreigners whoever comes through to come and enjoy the 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 way we we live and. Though we have made it modern, but you imagine enjoying the coolness of the church. Exactly. You enjoy. But but let me tell you something. You will enjoy this place if you have never been to the Great Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to tell you something, yeah? When you come to Zimbabwe to explore the Great Zimbabwe, this is the only place for you to stay. Because when you stay in here, you will feel like, oh my goodness, it feels like I'm living in the Great Zimbabwe ruins because I was there. Mm. And coming here, I can connect. I can see the entire story in here. It's just that I've not dead. I'm not dead. I'm alive here. Yeah? So I'm not your ancestor. <laughs> This was designed deliberately to mimic the Great Enclosure. When you're walking in the Great Enclosure, going to the conical tower, and voila, <laughs> you get to room two. What is so unique about this lodge? Um, the fact that it still maintains like the African theme, like most lodges and most hotels, they're more modern now. So we still maintain the traditional aspect, but still have like a bit of modern twist to it. Hmm. Yeah. But this place is gorgeous. Yeah, it is. But I hope it's not expensive for Zimbabweans. <laughs> it's, uh, not. it's not. It's not. Are you sure? Yes. yes. Wow. I mean, I, I'm from Ghana. Mm -hmm. If you want to tell somebody from Africa to come here, what are you going to tell them? That this is the best place to be. Um, if you don't come here, you're wasting like an opportunity. <laughs> like <laughs> it is, it's an amazing. Place. <laughs> no, you, no, she's right. Yeah, it is an amazing place. So don't waste an opportunity. Only live once, mm -hmm. and you should definitely come to the ancient city lodge. 
So I'm going to show you uh, the rooms that we have inside the rooms now so that uh, you guys can see the luxury that we have. After seeing the monument, the Great Zimbabwe, you now come home. Yes. Let's get let's get into 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 into. Oh wow. Yeah. So these are the rooms. So they are all designed in a, with an African uh, context, the African background. You see here, this is what we call a hari. <laughs> a hari. Uh, it used to contain maybe water, even yeah. uh, uh, beer, mm. etc. So those are the Tswanda. We've just put it there. It used to, here we now use it for laundry, <laughs> but in the past it was used to put uh, various items in there. And then this is, these are tick uh, chairs made of uh, of tick uh, for 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 for, for uh, hardwood. Hmm. Yeah, which we just put so that it, there's this African feel. And then these are the beds. We have twin beds, and there's a traditional headboard. One thing I'm just gonna tell you guys: <coughs> when you come here, you don't need the TV. All right, you don't need the TV. You have a lot to see. Yeah, in this place, yeah? So when you come, don't switch it on. This is too modern for you. You can just go out there. There's a lot of interesting things to see in here. Mm, mm. I mean, you can even find the BBC because there are monkeys out there. Hi, buddy. How are you? And funny enough, when I came to the Great Zimbabwe, we came very early in the morning. I couldn't see a single monkey. When it was one o'clock, all the monkeys came out for lunch, like came in their numbers can you believe like thousands of them coming out and i'm like these guys are on their way for lunch <laughs> does it mean that the people of zimbabwe got that ideology of having lunch at one o'clock from the monkeys even originally when the lodge started around 97 98 there were no tvs the TVs are now a recent thing because, you know, people, you know, are now used to social media, yeah. to, to, to being on TV every time. But originally, there were no TVs. I think for the first 10 to 15 years of the launch. When was this established? 1997. You live in the UK so at the I'll moment? I come for a visit. Whoa. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> I mean, someone come from diaspora, definitely watch my channel. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do what, watch it. What, what will be your message for Zimbabweans living in the diaspora? Uh, well, I would like to say Zimbabweans, uh, you need to come back home because it's absolutely gorgeous. You need to come and see this place. It's called the Ancient City. Lodge? It's an, um, yeah, it's really, really lovely. Is it your first time here? Uh, no, oh. I've, been, I've been away for more than 20 years now. So this is my third time coming. I haven't been here for nine years recently, mm. so. Wow. Yeah. And how does it feel anytime you come back to Zim? Oh, I feel like I'm at home and I'm just really loving it. Well, now let me show you something unique about uh, the bathroom. It's oh. culture everywhere. <laughs> 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 so this, uh, this, this is the bathroom. Mm, it's huge. This, this is huge. Uh, where you have got your modernized bathtub. Modernized bathtub. You use it old in. Recognize something here? Oh, it's stonework everywhere. <laughs> 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 this wow. is the tub, and we have encompassed the granite. The, the masonry continues wow. everywhere. Wow. Everything is about the stoneworks, and the bathroom, the stoneworks. And I want to show you uh, another culture. That picture is there just to reflect the Malian culture. Oh, yeah. the Malian Empire. Yeah, the Malian Empire. It's not only about Great Zimbabwe, but we're just trying to encompass all, uh, all uh, the African history from uh, from the north, uh, northern part of Africa to southern part of Africa. And that is the first ever university built in Africa? Yeah, the first ever university. And the richest man who have ever lived is also from here. The way this granite rock is huge, I can't believe that it's just the small stones or rocks are the one holding it. Can you guys see it? God is wonderful, man. I don't know if you ever believe in God, but the more you travel in Africa, the more you explore in Africa, the more you realize that God took his time to create Africa for Africans. It's just that Africans don't know how to manage this continent. But just look at this giant rock. And just these two stones. See, is there any um, girl who is a billionaire? I know you're a billionaire, yeah? But yeah, I, I, I'm small, but also mighty. I can hold you tight 
like this rock. <laughs> I always want to put myself into trouble, yeah? The concept here is if you've been to the Great Zimbabwe Monuments mm -hmm. and you're going to the King's uh, Place where it's uphill. Yeah! So this is what we're doing right now. This has been designed in such a manner that it replicates what used to happen. You're going uphill and you're going to the uh, pool area, you're going to the restaurant. And, and when you are going up, you see this huge granite too. Yes, it, it, it looks as if it's going to fall on you. And then these are the Zimbabwe beds. Yeah. I think you want this, it's called Hungwe. So this is uh, the Zimbabwe bed. Check it on your national flag. Yeah. It's there. Let's go to the restaurant. Come in order. Now this is the uh, restaurant area, the bar area. So this is uh, the lounge where people can just sit around, relax, mm. enjoy themselves, have drinks. And one feature that I want you to look at is how the granite has been preserved. The architecture has been built around this magnificent uh, granite borders come through. Look at them. All of them have been left in their natural. Sure. And the architecture has built around uh, around the, the borders, the granite borders. Yeah, so this is the bar area where you can have your drinks, enjoy uh, some whiskeys, mm. enjoy some wines, and everything has been left like that. Imagine, look at that, that's a, that's a border, that's a granite border wow. that has been designed uh, around it just to preserve uh, the beauty and the of, of the area. And this is the conical tower that has been used as a, as a way to, 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 to leverage the roof. If you come to Zimbabwe, you will see the cone in so many places. I think the Reserve Bank of, um, of Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe yeah. which is the tallest building in, in Harare, mm -hmm. has the same shape. It has the same shape. The airport has the same shape. Yes. <laughs> Why do you think it's so important for Africans to preserve their history? Uh, it is very important to preserve our history for identity. Like uh, you, you look at uh, the civilization that already existed in the 1400s to the 1500s, yeah. that shows as Africans already there was engineering because of the structures of the beautiful architectural uh, prowess that was already existed then. Mm. So it, it gives us uh, an identity. Mm. It gives us uh, the, 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 the courage and uh, it gives us confidence mm. that we were already as a people, we had, uh, we had a civilization of our own before other things then happened to us. So it, uh, I'm proud to be a Zimbabwean, I'm proud to be part of the monuments, I'm proud to be a descendant of uh, the people who, who created such a legacy that we still, up to date, we, 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 we put in our history. If you had a chance to change one thing in Zimbabwe, what would it be? <laughs> I, I, I think if I had one, is to, to, for us to have a, a, a legacy mentality where today, where what the decisions that we make today should be able to make a better future for the next generation. So I believe if we could have that mentality that we are only Zimbabweans in Zimbabwe, we make Zimbabwe a beautiful country for all of us and we enjoy everything, uh, I, I would want, uh, I would have wanted a scenario where people in the diaspora and all those who have left Zimbabwe for greener pastures all will be able to come back or enjoy uh, their country instead of being second class citizens. So hopefully into the future, we, we manage to tap into all the skills and the intelligence that Zimbabwe has and are using in many other countries. And we use it here to build our own country. I love the fact that you touch on second class citizens. Yeah. No matter where you go, this is the only place you will feel as a first class citizen. Yes. That and was a very deep point, man. Thank you so much. And if you see the civilization that already existed in 1400s, they were trading and they were make, doing business in Zimbabwe, hmm. you see. So I, the history, I think I, 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 I take particular concern to it. And I hope one day we'll have many Zimbabweans building their own country in Zimbabwe. What, will, what do you think it will happen if Zimbabweans come together to build their own country? Zimbabwe will be like the next Dubai in, 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 a, in a year or two, if all those skills that have been lost due to brain drain are utilized in Zimbabwe. Have you ever been here before? Let me know in the comment section um, how this, how you felt when you came in here. Or is it your first time seeing this? Let me know in the comment section. Or do you plan of coming here because of seeing this video? Let me know in the comment section. 
This is so beautiful, so gorgeous. A stunning place, like, and it's so calm, yeah? This place is so calm, oh my god! So, this is now the restaurant area where you can enjoy your breakfast. So beautiful. Being at the Great Zimbabwe, there was something that they told us that. You know, there was a place where the king lives, right? Mm -hmm. And when you go there, they used to have functions and stuff, but it's only executive that comes in there. Mm -hmm. This is exactly the same thing here. So if I'm having my breakfast here, my brother, I'm an executive, man. <laughs> because I can see probably maybe the king will be sitting yeah, over there. Yeah, that's, the, that's how the, the king would have been seated. And you know, royalty, ah. Zimbabwean royalty. Where can people find you guys? Yeah, people can find us at uh, number one shepherd's plot uh, from Mashingo. It's, we are next door to the Great Zimbabwe Monuments, about three kilometers from the Great Zimbabwe Monuments. After seeing the magnificent uh, structures, you come through, we take care of you for accommodation and meal needs. We will take good care of you in luxury and uh, hope. thank you for coming through. Is it affordable to live, stay in here? It is affordable. It is affordable. Our rates uh, are very affordable the, to, to the local market and even to the international market. You're the, you're the chef in the house. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I have to come and cook for you in your meal at Tola House. <laughs> oh no, you watch my videos? Yeah. Ha! Really? <laughs> That's amazing. No, I, I, I see. I, I'll invite you to come and cook in the million dollar house. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! Thank you. No. Thank you for coming to see us. Thank you. I mean, any message for Africans? <sighs> We're just happy that you're here, you know, <laughs> that you came to visit us. And then we can see the world. The world can come to ancient city and we cook for them good food. <laughs> yeah, but trust me, I, I really love the food in here because yesterday I wanted fried rice uh -huh. and I got a fried rice with mbuzi. I think I'm a big fan of mbuzi right okay. now. <laughs> <laughs> My final message, Africa is beautiful. Let's support what uh, in his uh, uh, quest to show a different view, a different perspective, a different narrative of our country. I'm proud to be African and I would want Africa to be the next. We should be having people coming from, from Europe to look for jobs in Africa. Hmm. We have the resources, we have everything. What do you mean by Mr. Ghana, baby? I've, I've been watching your videos all this time. Really? Yeah, you, Miss Trudy. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Thank you. Come here, woman. You know, <laughs> no, no, I'm so sorry. Uh, nice to meet you, man. Good. Oh, you stay here too? Yes, I stayed here last night. Yeah, I arrived really late. Huh. Man. Keep a strong case in our country, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is so cool, man. Like, I just came to spend a night here and I met so many people who watch my videos. Wow, my Zimbabwean fan base is really huge. Now I feel like I'm at home. Yeah, it's time to continue the trip to Bulawayo. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and if you ever get a chance to visit the Great Zimbabwe, choose the lodge at the Asian city as your preferred destination because you're gonna love it.